Hey, it's Miley here. So um, I uploaded a couple of things, and uh, Snow Chaser of Shadow Militia also uploaded um, some footage of a mass bowler that we've been working on that just is uh, phenomenal. And it actually seems to work a lot better. The funneling is a lot uh, smoother on anti-three-star bases. Um, so I'll show some of those uh, as I get them just to kind of prove that, well, yeah, it works on a uh, resource ring, but, you know, is it really going to work in war? It actually works better on anti-three-star bases. But um, I did want to show a couple of um, couple of attacks against, uh, and these are all just trophy, trophy drops. Anyway, I'll just show uh, this one against the Nemesis. Looks like I screwed myself out of a uh, good YouTube moment by all those trophy drops. Um... We'll just edit this out. Anyway, here's a, uh, a Nemesis base, a little bit different with the Expo down there, but still does have all three max Expos up. Uh, so it is a uh, fairly mature base. If you look at that, uh, replay ends in 1 minute and 19 seconds. So we have an Archer Tower down. Uh, you know, the, the Inferno Towers could be a little bit further apart. You know, it, it's not a great base, but it's a common base. And, uh, you know... It's a 1 minute and 19 second um, dominant 3 star. So here's the formula. You drop 2 giants. You drop a healer on the wings. You drop 4 bowlers behind them. Then you drop a clan castle full of giants and all the rest of the bowlers up the middle. Then you're going to spread out 2 rages. You can 2 finger drop the rage just so you get everything out there and you clear out that middle. You do the jump, you do a poison, maybe in war you'd want to bring two poisons. I brought an earthquake to soften up the core. Then you do that third rage right over the middle and, uh, you know, pop the warden somewhere in there and uh, just clear out that core. Those raged bowlers in the core, the uh, bowler range, uh, especially with the rage, it clears out the secondary target too before, you need, you know, so you don't just leave a half-dead secondary target before it retargets on the primary. And we've got the second jump to get out of that core. And then, uh, you know, healer's still up. Heroes still up. Uh, still got a giant up. Still got a whole mess of bowlers up. And uh, the first one on the, on the Nemesis that I was going to show wasn't quite as dominant as this. Uh, but as you can see here, this is definitely a, uh, you know, a strategy that you want to try out. Uh, and here's the army comp. Two giants, four healers. Uh, I had been bringing, I guess I, I missed my minion, or, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's uh, a healer, a giant, and a wall breaker in, um, in each barrack. 26 bowlers, so especially if you're like me and you only have one uh, dark barrack that c can produce bowlers, you just want to, you know, gem that uh, to, to boost that, uh, you know, five gems to not sit around for three hours, two and a half hours to get your army. Um, and then Giants in the Clan Castle. And anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's a kind of cheesy, spammy, go wipey strategy. But, uh, you know, I like strategies that work. And uh, just, you know, try it out.